so today I thought I would talk skincare. Now I know I did a skincare routine back in October-ish time, I think, but a few things have changed since then, and I've managed to streamline it down to the point where I thought I could do my morning and evening routine in one video, and I'm not sure that has ever happened before, and that's because a lot of the stuff that I'm using in the morning is exactly the same in the evening, despite what the label says, but you'll hear more about that later. So I'm gonna talk you through my morning routine, my evening routine, and then the few extra kind of additions that come in. As with all skincare videos, you kind of have to start with a little intro to your skin, so I'll give you the debrief now, even though it's the same for every single video when I do one of these. I have kind of combination in the middle skin. In the winter, it tends to be a bit more dry. In the summer, it tends to be a bit more oily, but it kind of sits on the fence. I get a little bit oily around my T-zone, and then more dry around like my eyes and that kind of area. My eyebrows are always really dry for some strange reason, but kind of in the middle-ish so I can get away with using products for dry skin, I can get away with using products for oily skin. But let's get started with what I use in the morning. Now the first thing, it's not going to be a surprise, I've spoken about this many, many times before, it's the Oscar Renaissance Cleansing Gel. Absolutely love this stuff. It says gel, don't ever be put off by that because actually it's a gel that instantly transforms into this really amazing feeling oil when you put it onto your skin and you massage it in. You can see by my face, I'm really enjoying this set. I just find that it cleanses in the most moisturizing way and that it doesn't feel stripping at all and my skin craves this. And even though I think I'm only about halfway through, I already have a backup in my drawer. I've already bought another one because I just love it that much. I usually do about one pump, one and a half pumps in the morning and a good two pumps in the evening. Then I move on to a toner slash hydrating spritz step and I just like this just to refresh my skin, make it feel really nice and super clean and it kind of leaves that like dewiness and also gives a bit of slip for whatever I'm going to use next on it. I was using the Omravitska Queen of Hungry Mist, really like it, it's proper expensive <laughs> so I couldn't repurchase that for like the second, I think it was the second time I'd repurchased it. I thought no, this time I'm going to move on. I found this in my drawers and it's the MV Skincare Rose Hydrating Mist. Really nice stuff. I also had some of the Lizelle, what's it called? Botanical... What is it called? Is it called Botanical Facial Spritz Essence? Something like that. I'll link it down below because I mentioned it. I did have a tiny bit of that hanging around so I kind of mixed it in with this and together it smells really nice and it's just very calming on my skin. It doesn't have anything that aggravates it. I spray it on probably a bit more than I should. It's probably more like a four or five spritzes instead of a one or two, but who cares? It feels nice on the skin and I really like this product. It smells so good. Whenever I use it, Mark is like, oh, that smells amazing. Now we've got to pause for a minute here because this is where I would normally use an eye cream and I was using the Yes to Cucumbers eye cream. Before that I think I was using the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Eye Complex which I really like. Really like both of them, use them both up and now I'm kind of in the market for an eye cream. So if there's anything that you would recommend then give them to me. I have tried a lot of eye creams in the past. I've actually done a blog post on them all. They're all ones that I would give a thumbs up, all ones that I recommend, but I still haven't found that one that makes me really want to go for the repurchase. So if you have an eye cream recommendation, then I'm all ears, but right now I'm kind of skipping that step and it's not bothering me too much, but in the future I would like to make another purchase. So I'm gonna move on to serum. Now for that, in the morning I was using the Una Brennan, I think Vitamin C Brighten Skin Serum. Really like that, went through it very quickly because it's actually quite a small tube. So I'm back to an old favorite, the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I have used this on off for years, I bought it Oh, still when I lived at home, so that was three-ish years ago now, so it's probably been in skincare routines a lot along the way, but I kind of always go back to this. It's one of those serums that doesn't look like what you'd expect, it's almost like an orangey jelly texture, which is a bit bizarre, but on my skin it just feels very soothing and it feels very hydrating and I feel like it almost heals my skin whenever I've got a blemish or some redness or some sensitivity has come up I use this and it just calms everything down it especially works well on blemishes for me I almost use this as a bit of a targeted treatment but it's just good and I always come back to it for my skin I just find it to be a safe bet so I've gone back to this morning and night despite what the label says then for my morning moisturizer there's another Estee Lauder product which is a bit strange because if you were to ask me what my favourite skincare range would be. I would say I really enjoy the Envy skincare range, I really enjoy the Oscar range, I really like the Clarins range, but I would never say 
Estee Lauder, but actually it features twice in this little video and this is the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme CC Global Anti-Aging CC Cream, SPF 10. Now this might seem like a bit of a weird one to use as a moisturizer, but for me this is like a moisturizer, an SPF and a really good pre-makeup step. It's one of those ones that comes out grey and it's got some kind of colour matching technology into it that when you massage it into your skin it just kind of changes to your natural skin tone and it just to me, is like a good skin day. I put this on and I look at my skin like in broad daylight, like real sunlight, and I'm like, yeah, my skin is looking all right today. It just leaves it looking very glowy, healthy, but it doesn't feel oily or tacky on the skin at all like some really like glowy giving moisturizers can. Just makes my skin feel really soft and nice. And if I'm not wearing makeup that day, I still feel like I've got a bit of a tint on. Personally, on me, it has a bit of warmth to my skin. I wouldn't say it matches my skin tone 100% correctly, so it might be one to test out in the shop and see how it matches with you personally but on me as a bit of warmth and I'm kind of all over that I really like it so that's my morning routine done then for evening this is a big change this skincare routine doesn't include bioderma I know hold the phone bioderma has been in like my last 10 skincare routines or something crazy like that since I discovered it I just think it's a fab makeup remover but these days I don't wear as much face makeup and I just tend to wear a bit of eye makeup and I always Always wear waterproof mascara. For waterproof mascara removal, there is one thing that works, and it is the Clarins Instant Eye Makeup Remover. It is amazing stuff. It's one of those biphase liquids that you shake up and then you just put it onto a cotton pad, and then I literally hold it on for a few seconds, sweep it away, and everything on my eyes has gone. It is so quick. Seriously amazing stuff. I did purchase the Charlotte Tilbury eye makeup remover actually because this one is on its way out. It's on its last legs and that one has a little pump that you go like that. I like the sound of that and it, again it's one of those biphase ones that you mix which tend to be better with waterproof mascara. But I just use this for my eyes and then I take a little tiny bit and do the rest of my face with it. It was kind of silly to have bioderma out on the side when I was just using this sort of all over even though it's just for your eyes I just sort of ooh, do it all over. It's fine. Then the next few steps are the same for cleansing. I use the Oscar Renaissance cleansing gel. I just use two pumps instead of one, one and a half. Then I use my MV Skincare Rose Hydrating Mist that has a little bit of the Lizelle toner thing in. Then I would normally apply eye cream, but waiting for your recommendations on that one. And for serum, I use the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair actually in the night. Now here is where I like to mix things up a bit. I have found two amazing products. I am obsessed with both of these. There's a moisturizer and an oil, and depending on how my skin feels, I'll do the moisturizer and the oil, or I'll just do the moisturizer, or I'll just do the oil. I tend to, at the moment, just use the oil, because I'm so obsessed with how it makes my skin feel and how it smells, that it kind of sends me to sleep. It's become part of my routine. But I'll mention the moisturizer first. It's the Oscar Bedtime Beauty Boost. <laughs> the blues. Beauty Boost. <laughs> I'd never really found a night cream that I would go back and repurchase and be loyal to, but this, I think, is the one. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it's kind of a dip your hand in job. I would prefer it to be in some kind of pump, I just think it's a bit more sanitary. However, this to me is hydrating without feeling too thick. It just goes on really nicely onto my skin and the next morning I wake up and I feel like my skin has almost had a bit of an intense moisture mask on overnight. I feel like my skin completely drinks this up and I think if you've got, kind of like me, that your skin's a little bit drier in the winter, this is a good option because it's rich without being too heavy. I personally like the scent of this, however Mark despises it. <laughs> Whenever I put it on and got into bed, he's like, your face smells of fish and chips. I don't think it smells of fish and chips at all, but he is a big fan of this one and I'm a big fan of the scent of this as well. Another MV skincare product and it's the Rose Plus Booster for all skin types and especially delicate and dehydrated skin. Oh my <laughs> word, the smell of this. I have used so many oils and there's so many that I really enjoy using. I love the Clarins ones, I love the Kiehl's, it's called Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Love that one, I really enjoy the Lizelle Super Skin one, but this, I think, surpasses them all. And it's extremely pricey, but the ingredients in it are so high quality, the lady who makes these does not budge on the quality. She really goes all out and so I tend to get this on Cult Beauty when there's some kind of discount or something going on and I will admit 
that I have made a repurchase because I just couldn't imagine being <laughs> without this and it coming out with its like last tiny bit of oil and me not being able to use it for a few days. My skin completely loves this stuff. Sometimes I use it in the morning as well if I'm having a particularly dry day. It's a mixture of all kinds of oils. You've got jojoba, rosehip, rose obviously in there, geranium, rosemary, vitamin E. It is beautiful. And in the morning, if I am going to use it, I tend to do one drop. One drop is enough. I'm maybe getting a bit ahead of myself, getting the back up because I feel like this is going to last for a really long time. So one drop does the morning, two to three drops does the evening. Two drops is what I normally use. Three drops is when I'm like, whoa, I'm seriously dry. I need some hydration going on up in here. And the thing I love most about this is not the smell, although it is kind of incredible. It's more just the fact that it's an oil that doesn't make my skin look or feel oily. It just sinks in, it absorbs almost immediately, and I just press it into my skin, and my skin is like, thank you, seriously thank you. So a great oil if you're looking for something that isn't too oily but actually delivers some serious hydration. So that's the basics of my AM and PM routine address. Lots of repeats there so it makes it really easy to travel with because there actually isn't too much to bring along. But there are a few extra things I just feel need to be thrown into the routine from time to time. As I said in the morning, sometimes I use that MV Skincare oil. But sometimes, especially if I'm just working from home, I'm not wearing makeup for the day and I kind of just want to give my skin and some serious moisture. I really enjoy the Sarah Chapman Skin Assist Morning Facial. I think it is a great product. I really enjoy their evening facial and this is like the slightly pared back daytime friendly version of that and it's gorgeous. Then for when I get a bit spotty I have two products that I rely on. The first one is from Peter Thomas Roth and it's their pumpkin enzyme mask. I only got this back at Christmas but it is now the only mask that is out on my bathroom shelves because I think it is that good. Masks don't usually make it to the shelf but this one does more as like a visual reminder to actually <laughs> use it twice a week but this is really great at like sloughing away that dead skin and giving your skin a really fresh and radiant appearance. It's got aluminium oxide in which works as a physical exfoliant and then it's got AHAs in, always struggle to say that, that works as a chemical exfoliant. So I tend to use that especially if I'm getting a bit spotty. And then on top of the spots I've sort of given up on all the on the spot treatments and all that kind of stuff and I now just use this. It's from Ren and it's their Clarimac Clarifying Toner. I don't use this all over my face unless I'm having a seriously spotty occasion but I just tend to pop in a cotton bud and just pop it. I've got one here and one here at the moment and so I'm just kind of treating them with that and the other day I had one of those real under the skin suckers that just wasn't coming out, it wasn't coming to a head and it was really irritating me. I put this on and then the day after it had come to the surface and almost dried out a bit. I think it's a bit of a miracle worker. So that concludes my current skincare routine. I am seriously loving what I am using right now, if you can't already tell. My new video will be up on Wednesday, nine o'clock in the morning, GMT. Some people have been asking about my upload times. It is now a Wednesday morning and a Sunday morning. And it's actually gonna be on my five recent style upgrades slash new additions slash purchases, including this little handy ASOS knit that I'm massively in love with. And there's not really much monochrome going on, so pat self on back. But thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing weekend, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.